What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. So I have a confession to make. The tail end of 2020 was not easy for me. In November, I watched my fiance's father lose his battle to cancer just one year after losing my own dad to ALS. Now I thought I could handle it, but ultimately stress took its toll mentally, and physically. And on the last day of the year, I saw my HRV drop to 18 points, the lowest it's ever been. And I knew something had to change. So I called on the help of a friend and fellow YouTuber, Kyle Got Camera. He was visiting the Bay Area at the time and spent an entire weekend coaching me on how to get my stress level and sleep back in check. From Wim Hof breathing to hypnosis and cryotherapy, we literally covered it all. Fast forward to just one month later and my sleep quality has drastically improved and my HRV score has more than tripled. So how did this happen? Well, stick around as I share the secrets behind my sleep advantage transformation. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. Now, before we kick things off, let me introduce you to my friend, Kyle Got Camera. Entrepreneur, videographer, YouTuber, biohacker. Yes, Kyle is a badass who eats cold showers for breakfast, but behind those hipster glasses, is one of the most humble people I know. He's been through the ringer with his own health issues and he has come out on top. So that coupled with the fact that his HRV scores are consistently in the upper 90s drew me to Kyle and his sleep advantage course. I really thought I knew all the sleep tricks and tips, but as I quickly found out, there's always more to uncover. So in this video, you'll get to hear from Kyle on some practical ways to reduce your stress and improve your sleep quality tonight, along with my biggest takeaways from his course. And of course, if you wanna learn more about Kyle or the Sleep Advantage course, you can find all those links in the description below. So let's dive right in and we're gonna start with some of the stuff you probably never heard of. Kyle has some pretty unique stress tactics when it comes to winding down before bed, including this one. I will do something called prehabbing, which is a neuromuscular exercise principle, or it's, a, it's meditation for your muscles, mindfulness for your muscles, and it's these tiny isometric contractions that help create a mind-muscle connection and strengthens the nervous system. And as a bit of context, prehabbing is unlike any other muscle activation technique I've ever done. Developed by exercise specialist and trainer Skip Kelly, these are a series of short, low-impact exercises accompanied by a vocal track that you can pretty much do anywhere, including your bed. I I think it's great and super accessible to people who have problems meditating. They know the benefits of meditation, they want the benefits of meditation, people who are high strung, high stress, or just want some type of mindfulness in their life. It's an amazing practice to incorporate and you don't have to be good at meditating to be able to do it, right? It's an active meditation in that way. And included in the Sleep Advantage course is a 10 minute prehab session that honestly left me feeling massage level relaxed before bed each night. Next up is breath work and most importantly, breath work timing. So at nighttime, I will do nose, nose breathing or box breathing and that will tell my nervous system to relax and to calm down. Another unique thing that Kyle does before bed is hypnotic sleep training, which is a method some people use to create positive reinforcements around sleep through the use of hypnotic induction tracks. So taking these two factors into account, I combined hypnotic training with box style breathing and found myself dozing off within a matter of minutes without fail. Then of course there's Wim Hof breathwork, which Kyle actually taught me while he was here. He said it is a fundamental part of his everyday routine for a number of reasons. I do it in the morning because it does energize you, but it also, it gives me peace. For example, like I, I'll, hold, I'll, I'll hold my breath for like three minutes with no air in my lungs. And it's like meditation on steroids where I just go so quiet and I go so far inward that it's just, it just levels the playing field. Now Wim Hof is really great when combined with cold therapy, which you can experiment with a cold shower or even something like cryotherapy. There's something about it. There's like the spiritual component to it, but then there's like the legit 
scientifically backed health benefits where I know what it's doing to my system you know, from helping with inflammation and helping with just put myself into a parasympathetic state. You know, there's so many different, pro literally proven scientific benefits that remind me every time I do it, I'm like, this is why I do it. You know, it's so good for so many things. And one of the key things that Kyle actually talks about for improving sleep and your HRV is establishing a practice of cold showers before bed. Now I did this and I gotta say the first few nights really sucked, but your body will get used to it and eventually you'll start craving it. And then once you start seeing those HRV numbers go up, well, you're never gonna look back. And finally, we come to Kyle's three pillars for setting your circadian rhythm each day. Light exposure, movement, and fasting. The best thing that I recommend someone could do is to wake up with the sun and go outside first thing in the morning and go for like a walk and like, you know, expose as much body skin as you can to the sun. And that's going to help with the regulation of the two chemicals that influence our circadian rhythm, which are cortisol and melatonin. And even in the winter when it's dark and cold, getting outside first thing in the morning is pivotal. Even if you can't get your whole body exposed, just getting some sunlight into your eyes is going to make a huge difference. And in the days when that's not even possible, there's also red light therapy as an alternative. And of course, I'll link up some resources in the show notes below if you wanna find out more about that. Now, when it comes to your fast feed window, Kyle says that if you really wanna move the needle with your sleep, you've gotta put the fork down at least three to four hours before bed. The not eating dinner close to bed is such a big deal. Like I could look at my scores and over periods of time where when I'm eating later and the impacts that it has on my REM sleep and when I'm waking up in the middle of the night, but then also uh, how tired I feel the next day. Now, what's great about this practice is that it doesn't have to be hard. I just pushed my dinner window up by one hour and cut out that late night snacking. I mean, it's such a simple concept and yet the payoff is massive when it comes to digestion and recovery. So in wrapping up, you're probably wondering how the heck did my HRV score get so high in just a couple of weeks? And for that, I've gotta be honest, it really came down to one thing, consistency. I was dogmatic about my cold showers, breath work, hypnotic training, and fasting window. I consistently woke up with the sun, got myself outside, and now I no longer need an alarm. And most importantly, I went to bed at the same time and woke up at the same time day after day. I thought this was gonna be a lot harder to do, but just a few simple tweaks to my habits and routines made a really big difference in my overall health and stress in a condensed period of time. So my thanks to Kyle for taking the time to work with me to really get myself back on track. And of course, my thanks to all of you for tuning in today. You can learn more about the Sleep Advantage course in the show notes below. And while you're there, definitely go check out Kyle's amazing channel at Kyle God Camera and give him some love while you're there. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I cannot wait to catch you on the next one. <laughs>